want to ride in a boat. What once played musical notes is now a boat that floats. George Clausen is a piano technician by trade, and when he's not fixing or tuning pianos, he's stripping them down and turning them into something new. I saw these, uh, what I thought were really beautiful cedar strip canoes on Facebook Marketplace and the artistry got to me. So he went to work in his garage, pulling apart pianos, using old parts for a new purpose. From building the foundation to putting on the final coat of resin, the canoe, which is mainly made from oak, took three pianos and 15 months. I just researched every step, like every strip has a, a bead on one side and a cove on the other side. For 40 years, Clausen has been working closely with pianos and knows they aren't cherished by everyone. Every day, old pianos are just going to the dump. Nobody wants them. They take up a lot of room and people try to give them away. This is stringing braid. It goes between the parts of the string that you don't want to vibrate. Now that the canoe is complete, Clausen and his family are testing it out for the very first time. Are you, uh, aren't you a bit scared that the boat's not going to float? No. In fact, it did float gently down the Pitt River. It was fun but wobbly. <laughs> Clausen says the canoe, which he's named Middle C, is still a work in progress. But now that they've tested the waters, he will head back to his garage for a few more tweaks. The thing that uh, got me, I think, was how patient he was with it. So he underplayed, I guess, a little bit how much time and effort went into the detail. Every part of this canoe is made from old pianos. Hundreds of hours went into turning this pandemic project into a labor of love that will be passed down through the generations. It's something that will stick with us as a family for, for years and years to come. A project that impresses his family and total strangers. Actual ivory keys, this is a, an actual handle. One of the things that's so intriguing is to make something uh, useful and beautiful out of something that's been deemed trash. It's floating. I can't believe it. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Pitt Meadows.